Hey everybody, it's Dustin from A Modern Metaphysic Man, and today I wanted to kind of kick off my um, tarot tips series. So this is something that I've been thinking about doing for a little bit now, um, and I kind of have outlined um, a nice little series of videos in which I'm going to just talk about really quick, cool little things that you can do with the tarot, whether it's quick little spreads or different ways to interpret things or look at things. Um, and so this is going to be the beginning of that. And the first sort of set of things that I want to talk about are found tarot spreads. And what I mean by found tarot spreads, um, you know, oftentimes, sometimes you'll just, you'll, you'll be walking around in your house and you'll get, get a feeling that, you, you know, you want to pick up your tarot deck and look at it or do a general reading for yourself. Um, and oftentimes when I have those feelings, I... You know, I would do a general spread, whether it was a three card spread or a six card spread or even, you know, the Celtic cross or something like that. Um, but it never really resonated as much as, you know, intentional readings or things like that until um, I found um, some of these sort of found spreads um, on the Internet. And this was probably 10 or 12 years ago now. Um, and so what I mean by a found spread is oftentimes if I get the inkling that um, there's a message waiting for me, right, that my inbox, you've got mail, um, goes off, um, I'll go pick up my tarot deck. Sometimes I'll shuffle it, sometimes I won't. Um, it just kind of depends on what my feelings are. And um, there's no right or wrong way to, to start the, these kind of readings off, you know, if you, if you feel like you need to shuffle it, then shuffle your deck. If you don't feel like you need to shuffle your deck, then don't shuffle your deck. It's not a big deal, right? So do whatever your, intent, in, your intuition tells you. So the found spreads in this case are basically you're going to look for certain uh, significator cards in your deck. And you're going to look at the cards that are around that card. Or you're going to look at the cards that are between two signific uh, significator cards. Um, and the first spread I want to share with you guys is what I call the forwards and backwards spread. And so this spread basically takes a look at the, the energies of your past and the energies of your, your possible futures. Now, I haven't talked a lot on my channel about my personal feelings about predictive readings with the tarot. Um, I know this is a very polarized topic, but my personal feelings are that um, the best way to predict the future is to create it yourself right? Um, I don't feel like if I do a future reading for myself or for anyone else that that is written in stone and that's the way it's going to go. It's more like a weather forecast, right? When you watch the weather, you get presented with information from which you can you can make certain decisions, right? Okay, so the weatherman said it's going to rain tomorrow. So I can either bring a coat and an umbrella or I cannot bring in a coat and an umbrella because maybe I don't feel like it's going to rain tomorrow or whatever the scenario might may be. Now, the weatherman may or may not be right. Um, he may be only right part of the time. Maybe it only rains for an hour. Whatever the situation is, right, I'm given information from which I can make um, decisions that will impact my future, right? If it rains and... The weatherman said it was going to rain and I decided to bring an umbrella and a coat, then my day is probably going to be a lot better than if it, if it rains all day and I didn't bring my umbrella and my coat, right? Um, there's my other cat. That's Miss Aria. She's pretty cool. Um, so, you know, when it comes to predictive readings and looking at future energies and things like that, it's, it's all about um, sort of getting information on what one of the many facets of our future, our pos possible futures may be. So it's looking at your energies currently, it's looking at the things that have brought you to the point you're currently in, and it's saying, hey, if you continue down this path, or if you do these things, or if you don't do these things, this is the likely outcome. Now, you could decide to have wheat toast instead of white toast in the morning, and that could change things, right? We've all seen the butterfly effect. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, um, it gives us things to think about and to make uh, conscious de decisions about, and it also illuminates things for us that maybe we're not necessarily thinking about, and things like that. And so that's how I kind of look at um, future casts. Um, but you know, take 
take what works for you and what resonates with you and if you don't like it cool if you do like it awesome um but you know you can leave what you don't like behind <laughs> so with that being said like i mentioned um this this found spread is the what i call the forwards and backwards spread the thing that you're going to look for in your deck um whether you've decided to shuffle it or not and i'm going to show you with um this is the rider right uh centennial deck uh the smith um rider white centennial deck it's a really awesome deck if you don't have it um i haven't done a review of it because there's like a million and a half on youtube so if you want me to do a review on it let me know in the comments below if not um no big deal so what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle don't shuffle whatever feels right for you and then you're going to go through your deck and you're going to find the fool card so the fool card in this case is your significator representing you um let's find our fool cue the jeopardy music i'm probably gonna thumb through this and i probably missed it because i was talking i did <laughs> um so bear with me if i have to fast forward this and speed it up i will oh no that's fool where are you There he is. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to thumb through your deck until you find your full card. Now, what I want you to do is either grab or look at. You don't have to pull the cards out in these kinds of um, spreads. You can if you want. I usually do. You're going to look at... I'm going to set the, the this chunk of the deck down. You're going to look at the card that that came in the deck on top of the full and the, the card that came on um, underneath the full. So, you know, you'll end up with a little stack of cards like this so the fool is your significator it doesn't really have any bearing on the the reading itself um it just represents you the card that is underneath of the fool in this case we've got the two of cups um talks about um our past energies so this can be a day a week a month or even a year in the past these are things that we have moved beyond things that um are no longer pertinent to us that maybe um we've learned lessons from things that we're we're working to move past um and it you know it it's one of those things where it's 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 always good to kind of look at those things like here's where i came from um this is what has led me to this point the thing that is sitting on top of the fool is your your future energies so this is the 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 direction you're heading towards the moving forward so what's behind you and what's in front of you in this case um we've got the queen of pentacles right so in in this reading right i would take a look at these i would see what um, each of the cards represents to me um if there's an association between the two um and you know find the message within that um i don't like doing example readings just because it's they are just weird <laughs> so i'm gonna leave it at that um but yeah that's one of my kind of go-to's whenever i'm um <clears throat> hanging out or if i'm doing housework or whatever the case may be and i'm like hey um you know i walk by my deck and i'm like you know what i'll pick it up and i'll thumb through and i'll look right oh this is you know and, and sometimes the future stuff can just be a day in the future, or it can be a week or a month, right? It's whatever is in front of you. In the past, again, is whatever is behind you, what you've left behind, what you're moving towards. So I hope you found this interesting. Um, if you did, let me know. Um, I would love to do more of these, so let me know if you want to see more of these. Um, I have a whole list of them that I've collected over the years that I've found between different um, blogs, websites, books, um, and, uh, you know, Instagram and Pinterest posts now and, and uh, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, and I love them. They're, they're great. They're quick. They're easy. Um, they always kind of have a resonating message. Um, this is the most, what I feel is the most general. So whenever I don't have like a... You know, there's nothing nagging me in the back of my mind. Um, there's nothing sort of major happening, but it's like, hey, there's a message for me and I, I kind of want to see what it is. 
this is what I turn to. So yeah, I hope you uh, I hope you like the video, and as always, remember everyone is fighting a battle you know nothing about. So be kind always. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.